Hello, this is Tyler Cottle, Application Engineer at the Reedy Infotech. Today I'll be covering how to do a gauge repeatability and reproducibility study, or a GRNR for short in PolyWorks. GRNRs are commonly used to validate that a particular measurement device is suitable for an inspection process. By looking at how features of a single part vary across different scans and operators, we can determine the repeatability and reproducibility of the system. In this example, I have 10 scans from three operators, for a total of 30 pieces, but the procedure works for other study sizes as well. To begin, I'll open the Statistical Process Control Tool, or SPC for short, in the top right corner. While SPC is typically used to analyze how multiple parts vary over time, I'll use it to analyze how features are behaving across multiple scans of the same part. Inside the SPC tool, I can find general statistics, such as the standard deviation and the process capability of the study. I can also see a list of the individual measurements as well. The trend chart of these individual values provides valuable insight as well. A flat trend line indicates that the process is, has very little variance, while bumps indicate where the process might be struggling. These bumps can potentially be reduced by changing the feature's extraction parameters or by observing outlier defects. The Propagating Piece tool, added in PolyWorks 2020, is especially helpful for making these changes across all pieces. Other useful available charts include the MR chart and the I chart. Once completed, each table and chart can be reported with this button in the right-hand side of the SPC tool. By using these native SPC tools, you can quickly and easily start a GRNR in PolyWorks. Thanks.